After the break, yes, Omran. Yes. Uh, remove your headphone. Uh, look here. After the break, you will you will study now the topic for today. That is all about computer. All about computer means you will study what is computer, why we use computer, like this. It will come maybe. These are the topic. These topics you will study in uh, all about computer. Today you will study. Uh, today I will teach you what is computer benefit and up to processing device. Next class means next week you will study this this topic and next day you will study this so today and next week the topic all about computer will finish okay first of all be, uh, see here carefully after studying here you will open era and same topic you should revise through the era in English and then in Arabic. So you will understand the topic exactly what is the thing. What is computer? Now the question is what is computer? Tell what is computer? Tell, tell, no problem. Tell. Hardware, software. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, RAM. <coughs> RAM, ROM, everything. Yes. Uh, the screen, mouse, yes, good. Data, process, data. data, process, yes, programs. good. Programs. So, in one line, you can say, in one line, what is computer? Computer is a device which take data, solve, and give you the result. Like you can see here, Pepsi machine is there, that machine, yeah. vending machine. When you put one real or two real, whatever money you put okay you put the money this money is input input after that you press the button okay what you want you select what you want maybe coffee maybe chocolate or water whatever you want you press now that machine do work that is the processing okay you put the money that money is data you can input by the start yeah, starting means you are entering something, enter something. That is input. When machine do some work, it will choose your coffee or chocolate or whatever you choose. And it will give you, that is the output. So is it clear? In computer, we put data. We put uh, some name, some symbol, some picture, audio, video, whatever we put, that is data and computer do work and it display on the screen that is the output next why we use computer what is the benefit of computer why we use computer to know website yeah to search website the internet. use internet yes. use any software use email good programs. programs but main purpose of using this is a computer is having a speed save the time it save your time i will give one question to you now for example if i ask you uh, multiply 20 means asrin into 30 tarateen into 50 come seen how much is the answer tell me the answer 20 into 30 into 50, how much? 100. 100. 80. 80. How much? 80. Not plus. Multiply. Not plus. No. Multiply. How much? 20 no. asreen 20. into 30 into 50. Tell me fast. Anybody, anybody, tell me. 20 into 30 into 50. 2,400. No. 20 into 30 into 50, see, 
टू इंटू थ्री इंटू फाइव इज कल टू थर्टी थर्टी एंड थ्री जीरो मोर आंसर विल बी नो थर्टी थाउजेंड थर्टी थाउजेंड थ्री जीरो ओके थर्टी थाउजेंड सो दिस इज वी आर डूइंग इन मे बी वन मिनट और यू कैन से इन हाफ ए मिनट सेम थिंग कंप्यूटर विल डू इन वन सेकेंड दैट इज स्पीड very fast if you put in computer 20 into 30 into 50 enter see the result that is speed computer do any work with fast speed accuracy somebody told here 50000 somebody is told 24000 but the correct answer is 30000 computer will not tell you maybe 30 maybe 50 maybe 80 computer will tell only 24000 accuracy correct no mistake diligence you can see uh, it keep store it can store if you want uh, you can store in the hard disk or somewhere and then later on you can use you can it can, uh, it can preserve generations of computer means how computer started when computer started what was the first computer like you see you can see mobile previous mobile just black and white and some button no is no internet okay just you can talk send message and all okay after that now you can use internet you can uh, do video chatting you can use skype everything you can do on your phone it is advanced so like that computer become little little more bit advanced okay see here this is the this is that is called the generation of computer in first generation first generation is started in year 1942 uh, 1956 how many years uh, 16 yes good 16 years this computer uses vacuum tube for connection of the parts their parts were connected through this vacuum tube not with the uh, transistor not with the ic not with microprocessor it was connected through vacuum tube okay and the computer was very big maybe in one university just one computer very big one computer now you see in the university 50000 computer can be there in the room you see 20 computers are there here in second generation the computer became little bit small in size why because of transistor what is this transistor, transistor. it is a device used to connect the circuit connect on the uh, connect electronic devices this transistor like what yeah like a flash or no no it's, uh, it's like a switch can you see this switch on off switch yes in switch we use on and off it is connected through the wire but to connect the component in the computer or motherboard or anything or in mobile or in radio transistor we use this to connect this part this part circuit that's all so second generation uses what what is this transistor transistor after that third generation it uses ic ic means integrated circuit integrate means collection together many things together so what happened so many transistors were connected on the single device so that is called the ic its name is integrated circuit it was used in uh, 1964 to 1971 in this year third generation computer was there after that it came fourth generation computer fourth generation computer uses microprocessor as you call core i3 core uh, core 2 do or dual core core i7 core i5 we call this is the word for microprocessor okay so fourth generation computer uses microprocessor 
ओके फर्स्ट जनरेशन कंप्यूटर व्हाट यूजेस टेल बी फर्स्ट जनरेशन कंप्यूटर यूजेस वैक्यूम ट्यूब्स वन कंप्यूटर वेरी बिग वैक्यूम ट्यूब सेकंड जनरेशन आईसी ट्रांजिस्टर थर्ड जनरेशन आईसी आईसी फोर्थ माइक्रोप्रोसेसर वेरी गुड artificial intelligence fifth generation now present and beyond these computer use uses using artificial intelligence artificial intelligence means like uh, we can think what is good what is bad okay so computer is using some brain computer is thinking himself okay it thinks and it works that is artificial intelligence i think i shown you the video about the restaurant in china did you saw the video no, no. no. i will show you uh, use of artificial intelligence in robot there is a restaurant in china i will show you now in that restaurant all the uh, waiter and everything is uh, robot only i will show you now you can see this is uh, new one new uh, restaurant and you can see here i will show you video robot just robot yes just robot uh -huh. you can go and eat you can order robot will bring i show you now one minute uh Can you see? Can you see? Yeah. At first, we just let robot waiters were on lunch tracks on the floor. Later, we found that once there are more customers, they will encounter obstacles. So we invent air robot waiters. Look at those suspended conveyor belts above us. They're also controlled by computers. Not only waiters, chefs in this restaurant also person who is cooking, okay. robot. Compared with robot waiters, the robot chefs who are making the meals really catch people's attention. Look, one, two, three, four. The four robot chefs in the kitchen are preparing for the meals. Technical staff compile the program and input the information into the robots, controlling materials, spices, amount, and all the temperature of every dish. It takes three minutes for a robot to finish one dish on average. Three minutes, it will make one item. We noticed the menu in this restaurant includes more than 30 dishes, even including spicy tofu, bone pao chicken, and bread crumbs. The customers here think that the dishes cooked by those robots are in beautiful shape and with tasty flavor. Zhu Shen Zhao, I knew from the internet that there is a robot restaurant in Hebei, so I come here. The meal is great, with good shape and taste. It's really interesting. The dish looks bright and tastes good. We young people like to experience something different. There are totally 18 robots in this restaurant. 18 are there. Four are cooking. Remaining may be welcome and uh, washing dishes and everything. No. See. They are as clever as a beautiful four-year-old child. All can show more than ten different facial expressions and speak simple Chinese. 
应该说，在世界这个机器人这个。It's in the way of us to use robots as casual and serious. As far as I know, there are few single restaurants in the world. So, if you want to start a business, here also you can open. And I hope if you start, maybe many customers will get it. Just, yeah, many customers. You can go one time travel to China and buy from there. We have make. Yeah? You can make a restaurant for you. In good business, you can make money within one or two. Yeah, I have make like this. Yeah. Nature. Nature. Yeah. Okay. Answer. So that is about artificial intelligence. So is it good idea? That is the use of artificial artificial intelligence. Means most of the work are done by computer itself. You can buy a robot for your home. He will clean your car. He will do some work. Okay? No, I don't think. Yeah? I don't think. See, okay. why you can't think? 18 robots are there. Four are ready to make food. Within three minutes, you say, uh, burger. Within three minutes, it will be ready. And within, I think, two, three minutes, they will dispatch you with no mistake. He will not give your meal to another person. Yeah. Okay? The person who ordered only, he will get the meal. So... That is about, that is the use of artificial intelligence. Next, this is, uh, come to the topic. If you plan to buy, uh, buy a robot, you can go to China, and buy a robot, open a restaurant in uh, Riyadh, and it will be one and only one piece. And I hope maybe you will get hundreds of customer, young customer, not, I'm not telling maybe old people and other will come. <laughs> many customer, university and school, many you will get. Good idea. Okay. It started. Shall we? Okay, uh, so come to the topic technology and what is used. In first generation, it is used vacuum tube, very big. Second generation, uh, transistor, little bit small. Third generation, integrated circuit IC, smaller. And uh, fourth generation, microprocessor, very small, like a smartphone. Next one is Question. One question is here. Which component is used in second generation computer? What is the main component used second generation computer? What was used out Transistor. of this? Transistor. Transistor. Yes. Transistor was used. Next. Types of computer. How many types of computer are there? Can you see? Four. Four, Four types. Four. First one is microcomputer. Micro Next, mini computers. Mini computers. Then main frame. Main frame. Then supercomputer. Super super this is arranged in the form of size, speed, and storage capacity. Means this is small. Its speed is low. Its uh, its storage capacity is less. This is big, bigger than this. Its storage capacity is more than this, and as well as price also, price also more, like this. Look, whatever computer you can see here, okay, that is microcomputer. What is this computer? Microcomputer. This is desktop. This is laptop. Laptop. This is tab. Touch tab. And this is a smartphone. These all are type of microcomputer. Then come to the topic, mini computer. It is uh, bigger in size than the uh, microcomputer. Its storage capacity is more. Server, generally you can see servers are micro, uh, mini computer. After that, this is mainframe computer. Mainframe computer are more powerful than micro and mini computer but less than supercomputer. This is used in, generally used in uh, telecom companies, STC, Zen, Mobile, or any Bank. banks. They use because the, uh, many customers are uh, calling at a time. 
So it need a fast computer. That's why they use mainframe. And next one is supercomputer. You can see supercomputer is very fast. Too much uh, storage capacity. Yes, it is used in uh, research. It is used for uh, weather forecasting. Means weather forecasting means what is temperature today? Maybe 10 degree. What will be temperature tomorrow? 20. Maybe what will be after two three days? For calculation of these things, this supercomputer is used and in research purpose. We can know the how many degrees yeah. in the cup. In the, the car. But where you are getting the data it is coming in the car from which computer? That is the supercomputer. Uh -huh. From there they are sending, calculating and telling you today 10 degree, tomorrow 20, and after that 30 degree. From where the data is coming? Like uh, like you can see Google, like YouTube, millions of people are using in the same time. <coughs> so that is supercomputer. You can see fastest supercomputer of this year is Cray XK7. It is in USA, California, USA. Just for weather? No, for the research purpose. Like when the NASA send any satellite or something rocket, so how much speed it is and uh, how much time it will take to reach there. Okay, what are the calculations needed for this purpose it is used. And for, uh, you heard about drone? Drone, drone. drone. There is a Sayara, that is an aircraft, which is uh, operated by remote. Yes. From uh -huh. here, you sit here, your flight will move any outside, uh, maybe yeah. 2,000 kilometer. Okay? And then you can operate from here. That is governed by these type of computer, very fast computer. Even no pilot is there, nobody is there. Okay? That is the drone. Uh, come to the topic information system. Information system means to talk, to send a message, to do video conferencing, all the works related to information, related to message sending, receiving, talking, using internet, telephone, etc. That is information system. To do this, we need these five things. First one is hardware. hardware. Next, software. software. Next, data. 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 Users. 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 And procedure. What is hardware? Hardware means yeah, anything which you can touch and see. See, this is hardware. I can touch. I can see. Okay, this is hardware. What is software? You can see, but you cannot touch. For example, you can see this. But, you can't touch it. but I cannot connect and throw it here. Okay, this is not possible. That is software. What is data? Data. Data means anything what you see or whatever you speak or whatever you take picture or whatever you listen. Everything, sound, text, picture, audio, video, everything. This is data. User. So that's like a user. Yeah. Yeah. What is user? Yeah. The Person who uses the computer. Procedure. Procedure means rules, how to use. Okay? Who will use, how to use. Hardware parts you can touch and see. Software only see, you cannot touch. Data, anything around us. Name, letter, picture, symbol, audio, video, everything that is data. User, the person uh, who uses the computer. Data, yeah. Everything. Everything. Like what? Everything. Yeah. Everything means I am speaking. I am speaking. It is in your mind. Okay. I am speaking the words, but the words are, okay. Words are in proper manner. It becomes information. Okay. When you see some. When you take some picture, maybe university picture, classroom picture, car picture, other, other picture, that is the data. But when you arrange properly, university, then student, then teacher, then manager, then, then that become a information. Okay? That is information. And user, as you know, person who uses. Procedure, rules and regulations. You can see 
ordered set of task to perform some action means to do some action some order for example you uh, when you are driving your car what you do first first what you do first open your door open door then put a uh, key switch on seat belt and everything procedure then you start and look somebody is coming or not and then you drive gear and all that is the procedure of the yes like of the order yes first second third fourth step by step step by step computer hardware now how many types of hardware are there in the computer four, four, four. five uh, sorry four. four first one is input output input means by which you can enter in computer okay. like keyboard like mouse like uh, light pen joystick scanner camera uh, microphone camera and, uh, uh, camera also you can see these are input output output Screen. means how Brand. computer show you okay how computer show you the result that is the output like a screen like printer like a speaker okay these are output processing is the cpu that box inside this box there is a small processor that is processing device processing means to work to solve for example 2 plus 2 how much 4 2 plus 2 is 4 you did in your mind so the processing is the head the yeah head it the main like brain for the computer yeah brain for the computer. brain for the computer you can say that is storage storage is means to record for example uh, this one it can be hard disk it can be cd yes. it can be flash memory or floppy drive these are storage and communication communication means to talk to send message to call to do video conferencing via skype and all that is communication yes now you tell the name first one what is keyboard next mouse next camera this joystick to play game what is this this is for playing game like this like this for example you are playing any game like uh, yeah no but what 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 they call it joystick joy joy j for uh, jack j for uh, jet j for you can see in any okay joystick and this is screen touch screen this is mouse mouse it's a track ball similar to mouse same as mouse same work as mouse it's mouse track ball its ball is top okay this is input device what is this touch screen no this is simple screen, screen. Yeah. this is printer plot plotter 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 and this is a speaker plotter is used to print pictures when you go to any shop or bakala you can see you can see big big it is written okay so that is printed by this plotter plotter yes osama can you see can you see it okay what is this crt this is a screen monitor this is old monitor this is we are using new monitor that is crt and this is lcd, LCD. you know what is full form yeah what is crt the size no full form full crt form. what it means of c r and t cathode ray tube cathode ray tube it is a electronic uh, description when you open this computer back side you will see like this it is big one yeah. okay that is called cathode ray tube cathode ray tube what is full form of tv what is mean cathode i'll tell you what is means of tv television yes television yeah television yeah tele and vision that becomes tv 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 tele means from far okay from far away and we see television television lcd means lcd means what is means of lcd liquid crystal 
display okay liquid liquid like water yeah. yeah but that is different liquid is that this yeah. is different we we don't put here water okay but like water liquid crystal display yeah you ask what is cathode ray tube uh, actually it is a tube like this uh, when you open your old tv you can see like this big one it is there if you open tv not new tv old tv the name tv you can see like this it is there tube like the entire no 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 that is a uh, place like this is screen is there and back side like tube tube this is called a tube you see this is a tube a tube for your uh, water when you uh, wash your car or anything tube that is tube cathode ray what happened here it is uh, some coil is there coil coil you know like uh, like in coil we use coil some coil is there from uh, the antenna signal is coming when signal will come here what it does in the coil electricity move very fast like this like this like this both direction so the beam picture uh, the beam is move on the screen very fast and you can see the picture that's why when you switch off your tv you can see in between this one one light is there when yeah. you switch on the tv one light is coming and then full picture comes old tv okay that is the cathode ray tube okay what is this printer this printer laser printer there are many printer like dot matrix printer okay drum printer line printer so many printer are there but generally we use this a scanner is a input device it used to take picture and into the computer okay when you go to buy a printer in the computer shop when you go to buy a printer what you will see first of all you will check resolution resolution means how nicely it print for example when you buy a camera or mobile you ask about 1 megapixel 2 megapixel 10 megapixel 12 megapixel okay a uh, nokia launch a camera that is 40 megapixel 40 i think nokia 8080 yeah okay? that is 40 40 megapixel very clear so that is resolution how clear a picture it print color capability means the printer uses all the color or it forget some color the speed how much page it print in one minute five page ten page how much memory whether it can store something or not so when you buy a printer we check these thing if it is more good we can buy a printer what is this headphone headphone this is speaker speaker to listen sound what is this touch screen touch screen this is input and output device both for example this this board you see you can see also and you can touch also so that's why it is input output both this one next what is this processor processing device microprocessor uh, this is of which company intel intel this is amd amd same as it is same as your toyota same as bmw same as mercedes car all the companies make car toyota make car bmw make car and uh, mercedes make car but the company is different same type what is difference the uh, quality based on the quality based on the speed okay so this is the amd it is there in the, when you buy a desktop computer you ask to the person i want amd processor you will get it intel intel you can get it it is available in the market but old one and best company is intel this is the processor microprocessor alu microprocessor is having two part arithmetic logic unit and uh, control unit in this alu computer do calculation like 20 into 30 into 50 2 plus 2 5 plus 7 like this arithmetical and logical work is done in this part but controlling 
part is done by using control unit. It control what data will be processed, what will be sent to the printer, what data should go into the memory. These all the work are controlled by control unit. Uh, storage device, processing device. Yeah, I told you that today we will study up to. The seat is coming. Today we will study up to this one. Processing device. We have finished the topic. Up to processing device is, uh, is finished today. That's all. That's all. Next classroom. Next class. I will explain you about uh, storage. How to store about flash memory, CD drive, and other, as well as communication device, modem, etc. Then number system and this. This topic you will study in next class. And after that class, you will study this topic, explanation of CMOS, boot and all, how to log into computer and all. So this all about computer will finish. Okay. <coughs> so this is the topic for today. Now what to do? You should open ERA. After opening ERA, this topic, what you studied here, same thing, you will listen in ERA, uh, in English and, uh, as well as in Arabic. That's all. Okay, switch on.